Cool. Thanks, Good morning, ASAP. everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McVoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And that was ASAP Adonai on piano. Yep. Yeah. That lovely oh. intro. Thanks, Asa. My pleasure. Yeah. So just this past weekend, um, us three went on a date. We Me did. And Noel and Asaph, we all uh, took Asaph out uh, for dinner and a movie when we went to see that new movie, uh, Fat Greek Wedding 2. My Big, Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. Yep. And it was awesome. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is one of my favorite movies and one of Asaph's favorite movies. And so we got to see the sequel, and it was just as good as the first. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and it was fun to go on a date with these guys. It was like, wake up, Missoula, is now stay up late, Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay up, Missoula. <laughs> stay up, Missoula. Yep. La, la, la. But uh, you guys can stay oh. up pretty much the rest of today because it's going to be a high of 68 degrees today. So it's cooler than usual, but it's going to be mostly sunny. But tonight it's going to be mostly cloudy. But of course, um, throughout this week, it's going to be rainy and kind of, uh, you know, Boo. like a, a mid to a high chance of rain throughout the week. But of course, if you're going to be inside working and stuff, fine. Great. You, you know. I'm going to be inside most of this week anyway, so... Me too, yeah. Times. I've got one more month left of school, everyone, and then I'm a college graduate. And yep. so I'm glad it's raining, because I have a lot of homework to do. I need to, like, get my ducks in a row. For we sure. have a bunch of guests on today. We do, yes. We've got Leah Fitch here. Um, she's going to be talking about a documentary called Paper Tigers. <laughs> and we've got a couple ladies here telling us all about Diversity Day, yep. which is coming up. So we'll hear more from them in a little bit. Cool. But of course, we have a whole bunch of new programming, and I don't want to introduce it so long because it's like five new programs happening in the next <laughs> two days on MCAT. But without further ado, I even had to chop it up because it's so long. So, um, and when we come back, we're going to have our very first guest talking about some paper tigers or something like that. Yep. So, um, without further ado, this is what you can watch on MCAT tonight and tomorrow night on Channel 189. I would like to introduce the candidates now and we'll get started with our debate and I will introduce them in alphabetical order for you. Uh, Professor Kristen Juris, Professor Juris attended the University of Montana, then received her JD from the University of Georgia School of Law. Mike McGrath is the current Chief Justice of the Montana Supreme Court, a native of Butte. Montana and a veteran of the United States Air Force, Chief Justice McGrath. Graduate Dirk Sandifer is a judge on the 8th Judicial District Court in Great Falls and Cascade County. He's a native of Great Falls. He attended the University of Montana. Justice James Shea, an Associate Justice on the Montana Supreme Court, also a native of Butte. Justice Shea graduated from the University of Montana School of Law in 1991. But in our communication with our dogs, it's totally useless. Um, because basically, every time they do something you don't like, you say wrong, you say no, you say bad, all they know is that you're in a weird mood and maybe they should be a little bit afraid of you. You know, it affects their emotional state negatively. Whereas, yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you're doing a good job. She's engaged. She wants to work. She's like, I will offer you this sit for as long as you want me to. Or maybe I'll offer you a down. How about a down? Thank you, good girl. I spent time in Minneapolis, Minnesota to find examples of Breckenridge's classroom material held at the Social Welfare History Archives. In Washington, D.C., I visited the Library of Congress in person to find materials omitted from the microfilm edition of Breckenridge's papers, as well as to read her correspondence with such social reform leaders as African American advocate Booker T. Washington. So you can create an event for Give Local May 3rd and invite people, so you create it as you know yourself as a professional but then in, in order to invite people you have to become yourself as a person and then invite everybody and encourage your board members your supporters you know whoever I mean yeah really supporters can invite if it's, if it's a public event they can invite people it, it too. sends out a toxin that will paralyze you so uh, the baby has no defense so if he gets it uh, uh, he'll die but if you give tetanus to the mother and stimulate that, she'll have antibodies that she'll pass to the kid in the milk. So uh, you can decrease that tremendously. Hey, we're back. Hello. Yeah, we're back. We're here with Leah Fitch. <laughs> so, Leah, uh, you guys are with Missoula Forum for Youth and Children, right? For Children and Youth. Children yes, and yes. Youth. And so <laughs> tell me exactly what that is. Well, the what Missoula Forum do? for Children and Youth, uh, we basically work with a lot of our organizations in Missoula to try to um, create a community where uh, kids in Missoula can be healthy and resilient. Cool. Think, yeah. And you guys are having a uh, showing of a, a video this Thursday. Um, can you talk a little yeah. bit more about this movie? Yeah. It's a documentary, right? It is a documentary. It's 
paper tigers. So, yeah, hold it up a little more. Like this? Yep. yep. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to be showing this uh, this movie, and we're so excited. Uh, we went to a conference last year and uh, saw the movie, and it was just amazing. Also, it's uh, directed by Robert Redford's son, wow. which was super cool because I got to meet him, and he looks exactly like Robert. Redford. Really? Oh, yes. that's so yes. good. Uh, <laughs> Robert Redford's looking a little old. And he's like, oh, let's get some young. Yeah. But he's got a son. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, what, um, if there's going to be like a Q&A, are you going to yeah. talk about this movie as well? Yes, yeah, so um, we're going to be having the movie and then having a discussion afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, but we're really excited because the film is really um, going to be a way that we can talk with the community about how we can work with kids that have had trauma in the past. Um, we talk a lot about um, adverse childhood experiences that a lot of kids have um, and basically what that looks like is like the trauma might be you, you have um, abuse in the home, there might be substance abuse in the home, there might be divorce. Um, so what we find is that kids that experience trauma that they have a lot harder time in school um, that, and that later on they have a lot of um, behavioral health issues, chronic health issues like heart disease, um, addiction and so what we want to do is you know we're talking about that we're talking about like how trauma affects the, their later life but we want to talk about what can we do to help right what's that next step so this film actually shows that um, a principal in Walla Walla Washington um, really uh, took that information brought it to his school taught all of his teachers taught all the kids about how the brain works with trauma and so and what they did is they uh, they found that once that they once they knew about how the brain worked better, then it was they they used less corporal punishment and really tried to support the kids in in what they were doing, and just saw a huge change in the kids. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. positive reinforcement, positive mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. and like positive discipline even yes. is yes. much more effective mm -hmm. and goes a lot longer and it has a lot more of an impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. teachers do a lot. They don't, they don't only teach, but they also do a lot of they social work as well. Yeah. It's a lot of like um, the, a lot of times they just send okay go to the principal. Oh, mm -hmm. Sit outside here until you yeah. calm down a little bit. Mm -hmm. they, a lot of times they just kind of like have mm -hmm. their pre notion uh, mm -hmm. on these kids after maybe mm -hmm. like the first week or two. If you know whether there's a problem kid, is like, right. oh, he's the problem kid, and right. they don't recognize him as the kid who has a problem. Yeah, exactly. So it's, instead of seeing kids as they are the problem, looking at them as, okay, these things have happened to them, and what can we do to help them, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, really cool movie, and I would suggest going. A lot of organizations are uh, behind this. Yeah, please help So, um, we're, we're helping out um, the uh, United Way of Missoula County, the Counselor Education Program, um, Brightways Learning Center, uh, the Parenting Place, Child Care Resources, and Elevate Montana. So, lots of people. Um, and then also teachers and early childhood uh, providers are getting credit for coming as well. So we had lots of people um, excited about coming. We originally were going to have it at the UC Theater. Um, and then we had so many people that wanted to come, we had to put it in the Denison. Awesome. Nice. So, and so yeah. what time is it at? 6.30 uh, p.m. till 9 p.m. on Thursday, uh, April 14th. Cool. So, awesome. Yeah. And, can, and where can people um, find more information about you guys and get, get in contact with you? Yeah, so just go to MissoulaForum.org. Um, you can get tickets there and learn more about our organization. So. All right. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else before we let you go? No, well, yes, I do want to announce that my sister's having a baby. Aww. So yes. I'm really excited. I'm going to be an aunt. So. Yay. Yay! Congratulations! Yeah. New life. <laughs> yes. uh, it's spring. <laughs> spring comes, new life flowers. <laughs> yes. Great. Yeah, Congratulations. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So, one more pitch yes. when and where? Okay, so at the Denison Theater on April 14th um, from 6 30 to 9 p.m., there will be concessions and it'll be great. Awesome. So, yeah. Great. Thank you very much, Leah. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. We'll be right back after this, everyone. No matter what you're planning, if you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you 
Each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. I'm Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. For the last 30 years, the Montana Hope Project has been granting wishes to Montana children who face life-threatening illnesses. I'm Montana Hope. To make a donation and help their wishes come true, please visit MontanaHope.org. We are Montana Hope! Hey, we're back! Yes, we are! We're here with a couple ladies. We've got Lily and Ellie, and they are here from NCBI, right? Yeah. NCBI, and you guys are, it's an advocate that t teaches kids to um, teach other kids about, I, I think, is it like non-bullying, or can you explain a little yeah. more about it? Well, it's kind of like, it's a leadership organization and it's dedicated to empowerment and justice. Awesome, great. And so, what's going on? Are You you guys are talking about Diversity Day, right? Yeah. And so when is that? Um, it's Saturday, April 16th from 6 to 10. Oh. Okay, and where is it going to be? It's going to be at the Missoula Senior Center um, across from the Big Dipper. Perfect, and so can you guys tell me some of the activities that are going to go on? So there's going to be some youth program projects. Yeah, like a well, so Lowell School Epic is going to, they're, ch they're choosing change makers and they're going to showcase them. Great. Cool. Because um, I've done, I've filmed <coughs> Diversity Day like the last couple years in a row. Is this you guys' first year doing this? No. No, they're, no? they're Diversity they're, Day are, veterans. You guys are veterans? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, you look a little young to be better. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know about this. But I remember uh, that there's always some kind of play. There's always uh, there's some of the kids put on a skit, and then sometimes you're just like, huh? <coughs> okay. <laughs> and so, what other what other activities are going on? So, um, um, B Rad is gonna show a video that they made. Uh -huh. And who is B Rad? Um, it's boys respecting all diversity. Awesome. Cool. Do you guys know what the video is about? No. no. It's a surprise. It, it's going to be like a premiere. So, oh. Yeah. And then what are you guys going to do? Um, we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the, the inspirational change maker thing. What, what is that? Can you, what is inspirational? We, we, we chose a person that inspired us and like acted like we were them. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that sounds awesome. Who did you guys choose? I chose Malala. And who's Malala? Oh, she, um, so she, like, she's, she fought for, like, um, for girls to get education. Sweet. Oh, is she the, um, the uh, girl in uh, the Middle East, and they have that documentary about her? My name is Malala. Yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, that looks really good. I really wanted to see that. And then, um, Ellie, who did you choose? I chose Jeanette Rankin. Uh -huh. Cool. And so do you guys dress up like them, and then, like, act like them? Yeah. And has that kind of been hard to fulfill that role? Or has it been kind of easy? It's been easy. It's been easy. Do you guys have to do a bunch of research on them? Yeah. 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 There's cool. also some book launch from Middle School Epic. Yeah. What's Middle School Epic? Um, well, we don't really know. Yeah. It's okay. That's cool. You it, it's a out. program in school. It's a program in school. <laughs> They're going to launch a book. Cool. That sounds good. And so, um, do you guys have music there at all? Are there any bands? Yeah. Like, so, so the hip-hop artists are... MC Rhetoric and Yaws Like Jaws. Yaws Like Jaws. Cool, that'll be fun. Nice. And then, do you guys know who some of your sponsors are? Um, no. No? <laughs> That's okay. We'll find out. Yeah. So, That's um, cool. Um, I guess my question is, um, do you have any, what, who's your featured guest? Um, is the, D, is it the, um, DJ rapper? Probably. Yeah, okay. who's, who's like the most, the guest that everyone's like most excited to see? Or hear? Because there's just so much going on. Yeah. There's, there's a, a lot of diversity on Diversity Day. Oh. oh I, and I, so I why know. do you guys think that <laughs> diversity is so important? It's just a personal question. You know, like, what does diversity mean to you? <laughs> I didn't mean to stump you guys. I know it's early. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to go to Diversity yeah. Day and find out. Yes. Yeah. So one more time, when and where? Um, so it's um, Saturday, April 16th from 6 to 10. Perfect. And where is it? 
Um, at the Missoula Senior Center. Right across the street from Big Dipper, right? Awesome. Well, thank you very much, you guys. Is there anything else that you want to tell us before you, we let you go? Well, we have these shirts that were designed oh. by Katie Koga. Aww. Cool! Oh, here, yeah, turn to... Sweet! Yeah, we got yep. them in the camera. Nice. Nice! Those are cool, you guys. I love those. Are you guys selling them? Are there going to be more, or is it just VIP? I think... We're, yeah, we're going to sell them. Yeah. Sell them? Yeah. And so, how, do you know how much they'll be? No. Cool! So people can find them at the Senior Center? Yeah. Okay, great. So you guys, uh, go check out Diversity Day. It's happening this Saturday from 6 to 10. There's all sorts of um, a diversity of entertainment. You don't have to come at 6. You can come anytime between 6 and 10. But I don't. I suggest you don't miss the whole entire thing. And it's a free event, right? It doesn't cost anything? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Great. And you guys can meet these ladies and yeah, hear more about diversity. Awesome. Thanks, you guys, very much. We'll be right back after this. Your smartphone can help you find a bar. Alert your friends that you're in the bar. Update you on your team while you're at the bar. And now, let you know you need a ride home from the bar. Hmm, that is smart. Download blood alcohol calculators for your phone at plantolive.mt.gov. A great day for me includes a walk outside with my wife. My great day includes reading a good book. A great day for me includes the morning crossword puzzle. My great day includes playing the piano. As you grow older, Missoula Aging Services can help direct your aging journey with a new Options for Better Aging program. Give them a call at 728-7682 to find out more. Sergeant Greg Emerson with the Missoula Police Department. I'd like to talk a little bit about bicycles riding on the sidewalks in the city of Missoula, which we see a lot because Missoula is a very bike friendly town. I would just like to let bicyclists know that they do have to yield to pedestrians on the sidewalk safely because they travel faster than a pedestrian, so they do have to do that in a safe manner. And then when you get to a crosswalk, you are actually required to slow your bicycle down to what would be called a pedestrian pace, and you cannot begin crossing until it's safe to do so. All right, All we right. are back. That was adorable. Thank you very much, I guess, for coming on. And those sweet little girls. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> I loved it. Good job, ladies. Good uh, job, Leah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, you guys. I mean, like, whenever we talk Just to you every other part of the day, it's always like, oh, kids, kids, kids. <laughs> and then like the other, and then when you see a really cute kid, it's just like, oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. You're what just, like, are you melt. doing? <laughs> How old are you? Oh, I love you. <laughs> I know, man. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I know. And when I see like cute, <laughs> smart little things like that, I'm like, oh, I want one. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm out. I'm out. No. Mm. <laughs> but they're cute. Uh, and that was awesome. Way to go, ladies. You guys did a good job. I can almost see the angst coming out. No, they're so sweet. They're oh. too sweet to be angsty. Maybe when they get like 15. I, yeah, oh. The angst. Yeah. <laughs> girls get angstier on a higher level. Oh, no, girls, <laughs> girls get emotional. <laughs> girls get like emotional crazy. Guys just get like angsty and angry. Maybe. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, for sure, I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some angry girls. <laughs> Very angry girls. Yeah, especially after they're done talking to me. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen it too. It just <laughs> happens. I don't know what happened. I, know, I, I just say, no, they're just crazy. I have no uh, idea what happened. I just go out with, you know, it's like, let's just cop it out. They're just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them my, my mom all the time. It's like, you shouldn't say that. It's like, I know it's a cop out, but I like saying it because it really bothers you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we are switching gears now. We're going to go over to community events that are happening in your area. So at first, starting at 11 over at Roots Acro Sports Center, we've got our preschool play group. This is a, uh, let's see, it's a, it's a gym, you know, it's like a, I know, I'm just You've been doing this forever. forever. For two years I've been talking about this and I'm still just like, what is this again? <laughs> no. So it's an open gym for ages, walking to five years of age. And you know, they have trampolines, they have foam pits, they have bars, you can swing off of stuff. But they set up different activities and stations around the gym and the parents and children get to choose what they want to do. Hmm. Yeah, I want to do it. 
Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got their open hours in their maker space. It starts at 11, so from 11 to 2.30. You can check out their resources, learn how to use the equipment, or work on a project of your choice. Um, over at the Missoula Public Library, so we're still at the library, they've got their Brown Bag Book Club, which this is pretty cool. So this is at noon. It's a new and formal book club that meets every second Monday of each month from noon to one. Um, in their boardroom and so you can bring your lunch you can talk about books you're currently reading talk about books you want to read um, they also go on other terms like literary expression and you know don't just stick to one book so it's kind of like a like a discussion of all books yeah <laughs> Scott's in the background swinging his hair around I'm sorry everyone <laughs> over at Mont Montgomery Distillery they have got their Moscow Monday starting at noon so a dollar from each cocktail sold that goes to a different nonprofit organization in the Missoula Montana area um, so at the Zootown Arts Community Center, I know that I've talked about the Girls Rock Camp, where uh, they, it's, it's a camp for girls where they get together and they form a band, they write some songs, and they perform a, a family-friendly Friday at the Top Hat Lounge. So we, instead of Girls Rock, we've got the Boys Rock Camp. Finally. Yeah, well, this is the second installation. They've been doing the girls rock camp, and they do that most of the time. That's the most one that is present. And then now they've got the boys rock camp, and I do believe this is the second time they've done this. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if that's 100%. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. And so they learn about music history. They form a band. They write songs. They get to uh, talk to other band member, bandmates and band people in Missoula that, you know, are know what they're talking about and can have some positive influence. And so it's just pretty much like... Like a good thing for these kids to get together and learn music and ha just you know have a positive environment to learn in. So they'll perform at the Top Hat Lounge Family Friendly Friday, Friday eventually in the future. Um, and so this is Mondays and Wednesdays from four to six from 11, April 11th to May 18th. So just uh, give them a call or go on down over there and send your kid up. The base at the Warehouse Mall has got wordplay starting at four. We've got word games, poetic, poetic exploration, free writing, and expansion wrought through sharing. Over the Top Hat Lounge, we've got Raising the Dead. We've got the live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, so 40 years. They also have it's a happy hour, um, and they've got, a, you know, they've got trivia, and it's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Uh, there's a river Riverfront Neighborhood General Meeting at Free Cycles at 5.30. Uh, so if you live in the Riverfront Neighborhood, this is your neighborhood meeting. This is going to be at Free Cycles. And then over at the Women's Club at the Health and Fitness Center, they've got every Monday from April 11th to May 2nd, um, there is a four-week informative seminar. And so it's about natural safe methods for easing um, PMS symptoms, as well as effective natural medicine strategies to increase the possibility of you getting pregnant. So this what? is for women, obviously. Um, yeah, and so if you need some help, <laughs> if you've got some pretty bad cramps and... Or you don't want to get pregnant, but want to do it the natural way? You can go over to the Women's Health Club and find out about how you do that. Oh, if you want to go the natural way, it hurts. What? What do you think, Scott? I'm just saying. I'm telling like it is. No, I didn't hear you. That's why I'm saying. What do you think? I'm just saying that natural birth is really hurtful. How would you know that? Because <laughs> it is. I'm sure it is, but they're not talking about natural birth. They're talking about natural ways to get pregnant. Natural ways to increase your way to get pregnant and natural uh, ways to help with your mental cramps. Okay. I, yeah. But I, I, those women that get, have natural births, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Can't even imagine. You can't imagine. Because, yeah. like, everyone who goes to the hospital gets the pain meds and yeah. the spinal block. Yeah, the epidural, yeah. Oh, gosh. That freaks me out. N number one fear, for sure. Okay, so... Um, over at the base, they've got their open mic poetry reading, and that is going to be after their wordplay. So you can stick around for wordplay, you know, get, increase your vocabulary, and then you can um, do a poetry reading. You write some poetry. Yeah. Starts at six. Uh, over at Frenchtown High School, they are making a Dresden plate quilt, um, but it's not your grandma's Dresden plate quilt. And so they're wow. going to be using modern techniques and tools, but giving it a modern twist.
Ooh. Um, and so if you're a quilter or a sewer, you know, this is probably a perfect thing for you. Uh, so the basic rotary equipment and material is required, 18 by 24 inch cutting mat, and a six by 26 inch acrylic ruler and 45 millimeter rotary cutter. Other basic sewing supplies are needed as your fabric, pins, and scissors. Over at Imagination Brewing Company, they've got a special open mic with prizes, starts at six. And at the Lifelong Learning Center at 6.30, they have container gardens. Um, and so if you want to make a little garden but don't have a plot or can't afford to get a plot, you can just get a bunch of containers and put them in there. So this class will teach you how to do that. I'd put them, I would plant some like whatever, some plants and whatever on my window seal, but I just honestly think my cat's going to mess things up. You think so? I really do. I Why don't you plant something that the cats don't like? There are lots of different herbs that you can plant that cats aren't attracted to and don't like. Hmm. Yeah, that they'll stay away from. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't like peppermint. You definitely grow um, peppermint. They can grow, like, yeah, like, different herbs that they probably wouldn't like. Totally. I think you grow some catnip for her. She'd go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> I, I only uh, feed my cat natural catnip. <laughs> I only grow my catnip. I <laughs> <laughs> Scott had some catnip this morning. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Over the Missoula Public Library, they have got, you know, it, it's it's poetry month. So there's lots of different, like, word classes and poetry classes and open mic poetries. So it's great. And so over the Missoula Public Library at 6.30 today, we've got Eat Your Words with Poems from Scratch. And so they are going to be, it's a poetry, poetry workshop with poet and cooking instructor Emily Walter that meets Monday nights through in April. And so uh, the first class we'll talk about will be poems on food and drink. Um, and so they'll have different themes, I'm sure, throughout the rest of this month. So you can go to um, tinyurl.com slash eatyrwords to register. Or you oh, can just call them. Oh, your words. Yeah. Nice. Or you can just call them at, I think it's 265 book. Because tinyurl.com slash eatyourwords was already taken. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah. So you just got to go online to check it out and register. But it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. And that's at uh, 6, 630. Cool. Yeah. Um, but up next, over in the UM Gallagher Business Building, we have Large Migrations Create River of Raptors and Bear Crews. And so this is put on by the Five Valley Audubons. They're featuring the Veracruz River of Raptors project in eastern Mexico. So the project monitors the largest raptor migration on Earth. Wow, 46 million raptors of 20 species. That's crazy. And so they're going to be talking about a brief update on the recent happenings at the Montana Audubon, as well as a, a presentation on these raptors in Mexico. I'll hide your mice and your guinea pigs. Yep. Uh, over at the Top Hat Lounge, we've got a couple music. We've got some music tonight at the Top Hat Lounge. We've got Matthew Logan Vasquez. So it's at 7:30. They've been advertising him like crazy. I have never well, heard of him before. Yeah, but I've been like every like every other article like I see in the paper is always about this Matthew Logan Vasquez. It was like I haven't seen anyone uh, as advertised as him. Well, in he, it, like in any like fashion. Well, and I'm curious as to who he is because at the Wilma tonight is George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic. And so you don't, you don't. I don't know them, but really? I've been hearing so many things about the Because like guys. George Clinton and Par Parliament Funkadelic were a very, very successful funk band in the hmm. 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. And so, well, it's funny because I haven't heard any hype about George Clinton and P Parliament Funkadelic, but it, you've heard more hype about Matthew Logan Vasquez. So I'm very curious as to like, who he is and why he's so prominent and popular, but no one even cares about George Clinton and Parliament. It's kind of interesting how it's like that. Missoula's weird. Yeah, but also, yeah. So I'm going to look him up. I'm going to look up Matthew Logan Vasquez and see who he is and why he's so pop popular. Whereas George Clinton, you know, who's been like a funk star well, for years, has had no hype. Well, all the college kids are coming back into town. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to see the more obscure band than anything else because they're, you know, they're college meta and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm going to George Clinton Parliament tonight. Oh. I'm excited. Great. I'm going to Bonner Community Council tonight. <laughs> 
And also the city council is tonight as well. Yes, it is. Around yeah. this time, if you guys want to go to a stupid concert, you want to go to some awesome city council city meetings. City council, And that's community seven. council meetings. It's yeah. Bonner Milltown. It's not just Bonner. It's Milltown as well. Milltown too, Ooh. yeah. Uh, yeah, city council meeting for Missoula is at 7 o'clock uh, at the city council chambers. It's right next to the Thomas Mar Bar, surprisingly. And then what time is Bonner Mill City seven. Council? Seven. All at seven. Seven as well, yeah. And then my last event for Monday is uh, Blues Monday at the Badlander at 9. So we are switching gears now, and we've got ASAP segment. Well, I had a wonderful date over the weekend with both of you. It was so much fun. Yes, it was a yeah. lot of fun to see this fictitious character named Fotula Portocalas, known to the world as Tula. <laughs> but before we get to those characters, let me tell you a little bit about our movie. My Big Fat Greek Wedding is a 2002 Canadian romantic comedy, American romantic comedy, written by Nia Vardalas. And the film, basically, her character Tula falls in love with a non-Greek middle-class Protestant named Ian Miller. The film had positive reviews at the 75th Academy Award nominations. And um, it was nominated for Best Original Screenplay. And I don't know why they call it a sleeper hit, because this movie grossed $241.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's talk about the characters, the main characters, because it would be impossible to talk about all of them. We're going to start out with Lonnie Kazan. She plays Maria Portacalos. She's really an American dancer and singer. That's what she's best known for. Next, we have Elena Campora. She plays the daughter, Paris Miller, the daughter of Tula and Eon. She's best known for playing Alison Dawson in the 2014 film Men, Women, and Children. Next, we have Andrea Martin, who plays Aunt Vula. She is an award-winning actress and producer. She'll probably be best remembered for a comedy called Second City TV, SCTV. She's received five Best Feature Actress Tony Nominations awards. You know, the nominations more than anyone in the awards history. She's number one, this actress here. Next, we have Gia Car Caritas, I believe is how that's pronounced. She plays Cousin Nikki. She is an Australian actress, best known for playing Liz Holt in Strictly Ballroom. And of course, this movie here we're talking about, My Big Factory Wedding. Next, we have Louis Mandalore. He plays Nikki Portacollars, or Nico, called by his mom. He's a martial arts Thai kickboxing champion in real life. He's very skilled, and he's done tons of movies, which you can look him up. Next, we have Michael Constantine, and this is he as a young man. He uh, he played in he played um, Seymour Kaufman in the ABC hit Room Two Twenty Two as a young man on the right, and of course Michael Constantine is the patriarch of the Portocalos family. He comes from uh, Greek descent in real life. Next, we have John Corbett who plays Ian Miller. And he will probably be best remembered for playing Chris Stevenson on a television show called Northern Exposure, for those people who may recognize him when he was younger. And finally, the best for last, Nia Vardalos, who plays Tula Portacalas. She's a Canadian-born actress, and she's a screenwriter, director, producer, Greek descent also. She comes, she's an alumni of the Chicago-based Second City Comedy Repertoire Company. And her most notable work, of course, the 2002 Academy film, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And this movie was nominated for Golden Globe nomination. And she was nominated for Best Actress. And nominated also for Best Writing of a Movie. So that's kind of a flyover of the entire cast and the movie of My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Cool. Nice. And so the synopsis is that she's Greek and her family doesn't want, she they want her to marry a Greek man. Yes. But she falls in love with someone that's non-Greek. Non-Greek. Yeah. Falls, and so they have yeah. to deal with their family and their culture before they marry. Yep. And this is my personal favorite film of all time. It may not necessarily be Academy Award winning. I mean, as far as like... Yeah, the, it, the big movies, mm -hmm. but it's just such a fun, delightful film. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's it's a good one. It's, and number two will not disappoint for those who want to go see it. Yeah, cool. it's a good one. Thanks very much, Asa. Sure. Uh, musical notes with Asa Adonai. And of course, it is Poetry Month, and of course, tonight on MCAT, we have, um, I mean, today at 4 p.m., there's going to be the um, 
Hellgate High School All School Poetry Out Loud competition. So why not, you know, watch it? I mean, it's a repeat, but all, all at the same time, you get a chance to see some poetry because it is Poetry Month. And if you don't get poetry in Poetry Month, I'll disown you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess so, whatever. <laughs> but when we come back, we'll have Tuesday events with Noelle McAvoy. Woo-hoo! That's her. That's me. I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. After an Indian woman puts her shoulder to the ground coulee dam and topples it. I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. After the floodwaters burst each successive dam down river from the ground coulee and tall. I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. After the floodwaters find their way to the mouth of the Columbia as it enters the Pacific and causes all of it to rise. I am told by many of you that I must forgive and so I shall. After the first drop of flood water is swallowed by that salmon waiting in the Pacific, I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. After that salmon swims upstream through the mouth of the Columbia River, past the flooded cities, broken dams, and abandoned reactors of Hanford, I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. After that salmon swims through the mouth of the Spokane River, through the Columbia, upstream until it arrives in the shallows of a secret bay on the reservation where I wait alone. I am told by many of you that I must forgive and so I shall. After that salmon leaps into the night air above the water, throws a lightning bolt at the brush near my feet and starts the fire which will lead all the lost Indians home. I am told by many of you that I must forgive and so I shall. After we Indians have gathered around that fire with that salmon, who has three stories must tell before sunrise. One story will teach us how to pray. Another story will make us laugh for hours. The third story will give us reason to dance. I am told by many of you that I must forgive, and so I shall. When I am dancing with my tribe during the powwow at the end of the world, that there Sherman Alexi really knows how to write. Pretty good. All right, so we've got community events going on on Tuesday. As you guys noticed, most of the time Mondays and Tuesdays aren't really that busy, but we've got a lot of stuff going on. As it gets nicer, people are organizing more events and want to be outside more and want to do more things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, starting, this is tomorrow. Starting at 8 a.m. over at the University of Montana, they have got Innovation and Imagination and Global Public Health. So this is an all-day-long event in the University Center Ballroom with conversations and presentations examining how new technology, new ideas, and new challenges are changing the nature of healthcare and how we view health both at home and across the world. And our very own Ron Scholl will probably do the whole thing all day. Probably. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> but not really. Uh, over current meeting at Kearns Aquatic Center, we've got our winter walking tours and coffee meets. They're going to hike Jumbo South Zone. So you meet at Kearns Aquatic Center at 9 a.m. Just pay them $5. They all get into vans or cars. They drive over, hike around, and then come back and have hot drinks and enjoy pleasant company and conversations. Over the Missoula YMCA, they've got their family fun time starting at 9.30. Uh, they have nice, comfy chairs and couches and tables for parents to get to chill. And then they have activities for children to get crazy and get all their energy out. It's included in your YMCA membership, but it's uh, $17 per family without. Over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got our open hours in the makerspace at 10. 10 to 6, you can go in there, work on a project of your choice, or learn how to use the equipment. Um, and then over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, we have Tea Talks. So this is, it's from 10.30 to 12.30, um, and it's for parents and children. So the parents get to have like 30 minutes of tea and coffee and talk with a parent education director about any parenting triumphs or struggles that you may be experiencing. So it's kind of like parenting therapy. And then so then while you do that, your child can just explore the Children's Museum and have fun and you can get off your chest that you what you really need to and then the kid just gets to have a nice time. Yeah, so call 541-7529 to book your, book your 30 minute time slot. They do this all the time though, so if you can't get it in tomorrow, you can always get it in the future. 
Well, we're back over at the Missoula Public Library at 1030 for Tiny Tales. This is for babies of birth through 36 months. They, uh, three years. They hear stories, learn of finger plays, hear nursery rhymes, hear story, or I just said stories, hear songs. And yeah, it's all on Dragon Rug in the children's area. And then we go back to the Children's Museum of Missoula for paper sculptures starting at 11. They're gonna make art sculptures out of construction paper. Over in the Alps boardroom, they've got Shooting the Bull Toastmasters at noon. This is a lively club where you can get there, you can improve your public speaking skills, grow your vocabulary, increase your confidence. This happens every Tuesday at noon. Over the public library, they've got estate planning for everybody at one. Um, this is put on by the Missoula Aging Services, but it's hosted at the Missoula Public Library. And so from one to three or four to six, uh, you can get answers, questions answered, and explore how you can avoid probate. No charge for sessions. Register at 728-7682. That's the Missoula Aging Services number. Over at the Missoula Art Museum, we've got an after-school art adventure at 3.30. This is from ages 7 to 11. Um, it's $45 if you're a member, 50 bucks if you're not. And it's they're going to be exploring memories through print making. Over at the Learning Center at Red Willow, we've got Yoga Warriors at 4. This is part of their Heroes Therapeutic Outreach Program. This is a yoga program that is, speci that is designed specifically Oh my gosh, designed for veterans um, to help them with sleeping and help with their anxiety and PTSD. That's at four. Over um, out in Lolo, their Lolo Branch Library is offering a special reading activity time for ages three for children ages three to six years. Um, children must be accompanied by a parent, of course. So from four fifteen to five, you can call seven two one zero four five one for more information. And then over in Frenchtown, we've got a Branch Lego Club. So this starts at 4, so Frenchtown Branch Library, Lego Club from 4 to 6. Cool. Yeah. Missoula Fencing Association has got a Fencing for Kids ages 9 to 18. Um, it's a six-week program. It meets Tuesdays from 4 to 5 for six weeks. You can call seven. You can call 251-4623. I don't know where I got this number from. Uh, over the public library, they got a community community creative writing workshop at six. Now, a drop in environment focused on creative writing and workshop process, six to seven thirty in the makerspace. Uh, over the Zach, they've got paint and pour, so you can enjoy a glass of wine and follow along and paint yourself a beautiful little picture while getting drunk. <laughs> no, that's not what it's about. I'm just kidding. Over at Hellgate Elementary School, we've got bee creeping brush up at six. Um, if you've got questions about raising your own bees or maybe you've run into a problem or maybe you haven't done it in a few years and want to know if there's anything else that you need to know, you can check this out. So it's at 6 over at Hugget Elementary School tomorrow. Oh, wow. And that's... That's it? Oh, that's it. That's weird. I thought... Oh. I definitely had more things. Oh. Uh, oh, they're just... Uh, they must have been all highlighted in white. Yeah. Oh, well, I had more things. But now they're highlighted in white, so I can't talk about them, which is totally cool. If you guys want to find out more information about everything that I talk about, go to MissoulaEvents.net, go to the University of Montana website, go to The Independent, and um, The Missoulian. The Missoulian is where you can find more events. Yeah. Let's see, what, what else was I supposed to talk about? Uh, there's adult TNT, so if you're an adult who likes to do flips and stuff in foam pits, they have that tomorrow night at 7.30. Yep, we've got, let's see, yeah, I'll start. That's so funny. So yeah. we have System Check over the Missoula Public Library is their official gamers club for ages 19 and mm -hmm. under. Um, over the Good Food Store at 6.30, they're doing sausage from scratch. Um, and then we've got a triple step swing dance class over at Martha nice. Jane's Uptown Dance at 6.30. African Dance Class at the Missoula Senior Center at 7. Rocky Mountaineers meeting at the Trailhead at 7. Um, there's a comedy open mic night, SCH 112 at 7.30. Nice. Yeah. Square Dance at the Top Hat Lounge at 8, where all the dances ca are called. The Beat Tops are a traditional uh, string band. They play there, and you don't have to have a dancing partner. You'll find one there. Yep. Um, and then we have Missoula Music Showcase at the Badlander at 9. And then uh, Metal Legends, ABSU, are going to be at the Palace Lounge at 8. Yep, if they'll be underground, but you'll be able to fill them in the Golden Rose. You really will. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 heavy metal music. It's heavy metal. It's, yeah, it's. But it, heavy he, heavy metal music is heavy metal. Is, <laughs> is really loud. Hey.
heavy metal. Like I've met some people who are like really into heavy metal, but they're the most quiet people of yeah. all time. And like their headphones are on their head. It's like, what do you listen to? I, I take off their like the headphones like, slightly oh. come off. It's like, wah, bah, 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 yeah. Bah, bah, bah. Well, I guess with this metal band ABSU, they're originally from Texas, and they started out as a death metal band. Mm. But I guess they've kind of changed their they sound. Quite, they, they've kind of mellowed out as they got older. I think they changed their sound. Yeah, but I did was reading their information, and I guess they never tour around the United States. The last time they tour around the United States was 2013. They always do international shows, and this will be their first time in Missoula. So all you metalheads out there, get out of there. Yeah, show yeah. them some support. Yeah, it's it's usually in um, VFW. Yeah, most most of the time most, it's in VFW. Most of the time it's at the Dark Horse because the Dark Horse yes. is the metal band. Mm -hmm. VFW just has all VFW like the hipster. VFW was there is another foothold into the downtown. Well, scene. they've got they've got all the like the hipster punk bands. They do. Yeah, and then the Palace will host metal, and the Dark Horse is our metal bar, and that's attached to the Sunrise Saloon, which I get a kick out of that because yeah. it's like Sunrise Saloon country, and then we got the Dark Horse metal. Yeah, it's, and they're it, in the it, same building. The only thing that connects it. them is the bathroom. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's awesome. I love it. So one side country one side metal it's pretty fun yeah but you guys should check that out um and like i said just go to missoulaevents.net that's where i talk about all of my information but of course you yeah. can find us on um wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula which is so nice we made you write it out twice um you could like us on facebook follow us on twitter you at can like, wake oh, up missoula i'm sorry. sorry you can like missoula community access television on twitter at mcat tv missoula you can check us out on Facebook and find out more information about MCAT. Go to MCAT.org. Yep. MCAT.org is a great resource where you can down click and download our summer program sign-up sheet. So if you're a kid age 9 all the way to 18, actually young adult. Yeah, young adult. <laughs> so it's kid to young adult. Kid to um, young adult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's true because um, we're, we have up until, I think it's about 17, maybe roughly 18, somebody, just generally somebody who's still in high school. <laughs> to be in our summer programs and we're doing a zombie summer workshop yep. um, we're doing uh, wildlife and we're doing some stop animation stuff as well <laughs> as some animation we'll, we'll work on that we'll, I, I, we'll do a little more than stop animation this year yeah we will yep. yeah but thanks for joining us, you yes, guys. It was a it was a great time. Uh, yeah. um, thanks to all our guests. Uh, Diversity Day is this Saturday yep. from six to ten at the Missoula Senior Center. Yep. Um, ask Asaph about it because he's very familiar with the Senior Center. And then uh, uh, Paper Tigers, that film about uh, the high school that was mm -hmm. being changed, that'll be at the Denison Theater on Thursday, starting at six thirty. I do yep. believe six thirty to nine. nine. Yeah. Because they're gonna have a Q and A as well. They're gonna talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about it, which is good. Mm -hmm. And it's put in by the Missoula Forum for Children and Youth. Yeah. So, not not the other organization, Youth and Children. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Leah, for coming on, as well as Ellie and Lily for being on our show today. Yep. And um, thanks, Asaph, for uh, enlightening us a little bit more about your favorite movie, um, yes. Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yes. Yeah, Although I am not Greek, I am... A, a I can, wedding. I am <laughs> probably more associated with the fat part of the fat no. Greek wedding. More of the wedding. Scott's married three times. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not, if I was like super like hi, <laughs> then I'd be married three times. But I'm just like, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're both on the same page. We're both of us really. We don't care. Leave us alone. <laughs> well, for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McFoy. and I'm Scott Ramp. Here's a South. We'll see you guys Wednesday.